So check out this photo here and then this one here. So if you put them side by side, which one looks better to you? So I'm guessing most of you chose picture B, but why exactly? Hey everyone, it's Aaron here from Really Visuals. Hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we're giving you our top eight tips for posing models. So whether you're new to photography or you've been shooting for a while now, you have probably encountered times when people ask you for help with their posing. More often than not, your subjects will ask you for guidance as the photographer. So this will be especially true for those of you, you know, shooting friends and family or when working with non-professional or amateur or new models. So we've compiled this very simple list of tips that will hopefully be helpful for you fellow portrait photographers. You'll find that some very, very small subtle changes can make a very big difference to the overall look and feel of a photo. And keep in mind, these are just general kind of rules to follow for everyday normal situations. But there may be times where you wanna create kind of awkwardness and tension depending on the style you're going for. For example, in some of these shots here, we purposely got our model to pose in like awkward and tense poses to try and convey something a little bit different. These are also more geared towards female models. 90% of our photography work is with women, but we'll definitely try and do one for male models as well at some point in the future. So a few weeks ago, we went out on a shoot with our model friend, Yuli. You can follow her on Instagrams and socials here just to demonstrate with some comparison shots. So without further ado, let's kick off with number one. So tip number one is a very simple one. It's simply just to avoid slouching. It's probably something that you heard every day growing up as a kid, you know, sit up straight, shoulders back chest out etc but it really does make a massive massive difference so you'll see here when Yuli is slouched over her shoulders are rounded her neck is leaning forward everything is just very inward it makes her look really awkward and also makes her look uncomfortable but by simply just standing up or sitting up straight it immediately just elongates her whole body she just looks so much more confident in front of the camera as well more powerful and the entire feel of the image just becomes a lot more attractive as a whole because of it so always remember don't let your model slouch and you'll just instantly improve your images so tip number two is to think about positioning both with the body you know and the head this is kind of like a broad tip but basically very very small changes can make a really big impact such as taking a photo straight on like this one here versus turning the whole body and head to the side so in this case we ask Yuli to kind of over exaggerate the way she is standing and front on everything just looks really blocky and it's just too square but by turning her to the side we kind of see more of the figure we create these nice angles and again it elongates her whole body in the next instance when she's sitting down and everything is just straight on again again everything just looks too too symmetrical now it's not to say that this is wrong per se if you're shooting like a gangster rap album cover then this might actually work pretty cool or like maybe like a business person when you're trying to convey you know some authority and some power but if we just turn her body sideways a bit we again get that elongation effect it's also instantly slimming and just feels more natural and more relaxed so the key takeaway here is not just to have your model simply just stand there but to be really conscious of positioning and how to do so to make your subjects body positioning as flattering as possible. Just as a sub tip, just to add on to this, in my experience, I also find that positioning hands in particular can be awkward for less experienced models as they are often a little bit unsure of what to do with them. I find that a good beginner tip is just to keep the hands as relaxed as possible. So avoid kind of like balled up fists and you know, creating tension. And be mindful that if you're doing any poses where the model is kind of like leaning on her hands, just avoid having them push them too, with too much pressure, for example. You wanna do it as gently as possible, which creates a more elegant and less awkward and uncomfortable look. So my third tip is a pretty self-explanatory one, but it's simply just to make sure that you're placing your models in the shade or in softer light compared to harsh, bright sunlight. So when you're right under the sun, when it's in like the middle of the day, for example, it creates these harsh shadows and your model is more likely to squint and also look uncomfortable as well. So simply just going into the shade, we get much more even and flattering light that's even across the face. You know, Yuli here looks a lot more happier, a lot more comfortable, and obviously it's very possible to shoot in the sun, but in most cases you'll make your life and your model's life easier by avoiding it. 
Tip four is something that you can do as a photographer and that's to think about the angle. So one common mistake that I see often is to shoot directly down to your model, which can make them appear smaller and it kind of distorts. Again, this can be used in certain situations, but by simply shooting from a lower down point of view, this naturally creates the illusion of making your model appear taller, slimmer, and just more prominent in the image as if you yourself are literally looking up to that person. So that's such a really simple but effective way to create more flat images. Moving on to tip five and this is one that I have personally been guilty of making in the past and that is to avoid hiding limbs. So when you have for example arms, hands or legs covered or cropped out for example it can create an awkward looking feel to your image. In this example we told Yuli to hide her arms and it just doesn't look quite right but when she places her right hand on her hip and brings her left arm and hand into the view it instantly creates a more aesthetically pleasing and more natural feeling image. So we create these nice angles so it portrays more of the body, we see more shapes and again that elongation. So likewise in this next photo we can see Yuli sitting on her leg and because of that it just looks a little bit awkward Whereas in the next photo, we made sure that both legs were visible, both feet were visible. And because of that, it just looks a whole lot more natural. Because we can see every element of the body, it doesn't look like anything's been chopped off, there's no limbs being cut off the frame, and then it just looks better. You kind of want to avoid just having like random hands like sticking out of the head and stuff. It's basically just being more conscious of where those limbs are going. Moving on to top six, and that is, it's all about the eyes. So as portrait photographers, the eyes are probably the most important thing that you wanna get right. And if you're shooting outdoors especially, you wanna make sure that your model is not squinting. But at the same time, one thing I often see is models trying so hard not to squint that they over exaggerate, which can end up with this kind of awkward, surprised look. You really just want to keep it as natural and as comfortable as possible. Making sure you're getting nice light is a good way to avoid issues with eyes. And just making sure that you're seeing the full eye with the pupils all visible and not looking off so much in a direction that you can't fully see them, which can also look a little bit strange as well. Tip seven, and it's basically all about the hair. The hair. Be sure to remind your model to bring a hairbrush along with them so this can save you tons of time on editing afterwards. Now most professional models won't need reminding but those who have little experience might not take that into consideration. And make sure there aren't any kind of like big clumps of hair on the face or that it's not covering their eyes as well. If the hair starts looking messy, don't be afraid to just ask your model to brush it out. Really think about how the hair affects the overall look of your image as well. So don't be afraid to have the model, you know, experiment and move the hair from shoulder to shoulder depending on what you want to highlight. So if you have a look at these two images here, notice how on the left one we reveal more of the face and the shoulder. However, on the one on the right, we have a nicer side profile. So we can see the shape of the face more. It's just essentially another tool for you to take advantage of. And finally, my eighth and final tip is simply just to make sure your model isn't competing with anything in the background and to think about how they interact with the environment as well. So if you're shooting portraits, you want your subject to be the star of the show. If there's lots of elements in the background competing for your attention in the picture, that's generally what we want to avoid. There are obviously exceptions to this, of course, say if you're shooting like a wider angle shot and you're trying to show something that's contextually relevant. But in most cases, a clean, less distracting background is a surefire way to get a more aesthetically pleasing shot make your model look better as well so in terms of interaction if there's for example a fence to lean on a tree or something like that you know get your model to take advantage of that and it just looks a lot better compared to having them just standing there awkwardly so for example this fence here we had Yuli standing next to the fence versus actually leaning against the fence and when she's just standing next to it it just looks a bit odd but when she's actually leaning on it it's way more natural looking so I know I said I had eight tips for you, but I have one more tip and that is really simple one is just to make your models feel comfortable. So don't be afraid to just socialize at the beginning, you know, use small talk. It's something that I do when I actually film subjects for interviews as well. I just basically just ask them about their day first just get them talking, you know, asking about what their plans for the weekend were, especially if it's your first time shooting with that person or if they're not professional models or you're just shooting, you know, regular people. It's a surefire way to just get people to just be more relaxed around you. And in turn, their poses will be a lot better as well. They'll be less kind of stiff and tense. And I have seen that before in the past where photographers or even videographers have just kind of gone in and just straight to work and you know, you, you can see people are a little bit awkward. So yeah, just make sure you take the time to break the ice.
So there you have it. I hope you'll find these tips helpful and that next time you're out on your shoot with your model, consider all these things and hopefully you'll end up with more flattering and more beautiful looking photos. We have gotten to that point now where we shoot with a lot of like really, really awesome models that we don't really need to tell them too much what to do most of the time. But it's definitely helpful to have all of that knowledge in your head for when you inevitably do come across someone who needs a bit more direction and a bit more help. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it useful, then hit that like button and also the subscribe button to see more. If you've got any questions, you can leave them down there in the comment section and also give us a follow on socials if you're into that. And hopefully we'll see you next time. All right, peace guys. Thank you.